Um, happy with Mr Muldoon today. He's just in top gear for a lot of the race, but what I did love is that he's really gritted his teeth. He's knuckled down well and jumped really nicely. Um, what I've suggested to Dr Newlander's team and team is um, there's some quite valuable races coming up over three miles plus. And what I wouldn't mind seeing him is one of those valuable ones with a low weight, just because I think with this kind of experience having gone around here at that pace, he'll be going around in one of those three mile plus races. He should find it all quite smooth and quite easy. Um, and you know with him, he's obviously got plenty of ability and hopefully he'll keep improving as kind of as we keep going forward. And Sam, you feel it is more of a stayer than the two and a half? At this level, it's just caught him out. Mm, I think out. in the winter, while your ground is very wet, you, you two and a half is probably where you'd like to be. But with this drier ground, it's just kind of stretching him. Um, and obviously the best way, as I've probably said to a lot of you before, is you're just trying to sprint your marathon. Mm. If we can jump off, sit, travel for a good bit longer, then hopefully you then see a he, stronger he, finish. He handled the ground as far as you're concerned. He just just couldn't quite get the pace. And dealt with it well, just found the pace all quite hot. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Sam. Thank you.